the Sims 4 Speedville channel. I'm Alita and today I'll be showing you a build that I made in Willow Creek on a 20 by 15 lot. So I wanted to do like a tiny build and as this is my first tiny build that I've actually ever done and also the first build that I've actually made on Willow Creek. I uh, just thought I'd experiment with the roofing and just try something like really cozy and warm and I hope that you had like a really good New Year's and a Christmas. For me I just kind of spent my Christmas like with my family and didn't really do much over the holidays but just chill and that was it really so I did take like a kind of needed break <laughs> but now I'm back and I'm kind of ready to start the year and show you some builds that I've made I did try to do some Christmas builds and guys it just was not working for me I think because I'm only on base game I just really struggled to do a Christmas build and I think because I don't have seasons and I can't really make it snowy or anything it just wasn't wasn't really working for me but I know that next year I'll be ready and yeah I can definitely have some Christmas builds next year but with this build I kind of want it to be kind of cottagey and just have loads of just shapes sticking out and so to make it a bit more interesting and I think I do add like a balcony at the back which is so nice but this house is a one bedroom and I think it's a one bathroom too but I love that door that I put in this house I think it's just perfect and I was actually really worried because I was like do we have any good doors like in base game but no I really like that door so much and yeah I just thought it'd be a really nice cool like just tiny house but with this, I did use the BB dot move objects cheat, BB dot show hidden objects cheat, and BB dot show live edit objects. I also used the tool mod, but only here and there, just to lower some rocks into the ground, and that's pretty much it. But I th I love this build, like especially the interior. Like, I can't wait to show you the interior because yeah, it's just it's just it's really really nice. So I'm really excited to go into that a bit more. But now I'm just adding some texture and different colours to the wall. I think when you have just one plain colour all the way around the house, I think it kind of makes it look flat. And I think adding different textures like the brick and then maybe that panelling as well, it shows off the shape and the angles of the build, which I just much, much, much prefer. With the garden, I kind of kept it quite simple. I just wanted to go with this house and because it's such a small lot and I've never built on a lot this small before I actually found it quite hard just to try and fit things in like I didn't know what to kind of put and I think when it's less I don't know I think you've got to be really good at that and I don't think I'm that good at kind of keep it minimalistic I'm trying but I just I don't know why it just doesn't really work for me it's just better for me to just keep adding and adding and making it full so with like a small build it does kind of restrict you and you just can't go wild you've got to use the space I don't know in the best way possible but with the patio area I did try to add a platform on top with that circle shape and it left this weird hole I'm not sure if you guys have had this or if it was just me but it left this weird hole and yeah it was weird I don't know why that was happening so I just deleted that and I just hope the sims team do fix that because I would like to use the curved platform shapes and then here I use one of the debug rocks well I think it's a rock I just had to size it up and then place it around the walkway area just so it could give it like a nice outline and I think with using the terrain tools it doesn't give like a clean edge so I thought that was like a nice idea that I could use that debugged object which I think I'm 100% going to use that more often from now on because yeah I think it's just a really nice object and then I did try using the flower and I'm actually sure if it's for a flower bed but I sized it down and I didn't really like what the flower beds were sitting on like what holds the flowers I think it was just weird and a bit ugly so I, I thought I'd use that to make it look a bit more fancy and a bit more nicer and then I did use some debug fences as well for the front I think I used different for the back ones but I thought that was kind of realistic I didn't think like people would have the same fence all around their house so I thought I just went with it and then I also did paint with the terrain tools the where the flowers birds would go I wasn't really sure on what kind of shape I wanted them but I think drawing it out first was actually really helpful this time because normally I just add in the flowers and then use the train tools at the end but this time I just thought it would be better if I used the train tools first and just paint out where I wanted the flower beds to go because I was very indecisive and I didn't really know what to do for the front of the garden because it's a weird shape like I knew I wanted to curve 
walkway to the door but then I didn't know what else I wanted going on so but I thought the flower beds kind of work and so did the trees. I did attempt to use some flowers that I haven't used and it just wasn't really working so I just stuck with the flowers that I'm used to. I have been looking at some new packs like over the Christmas season I did really want to buy like seasons like I said before just so I could have snow in the game and but then I'm not going to lie I was looking at other objects as well just because you know I'm just getting used to the base game and actually I'm really surprised with what I've been able to build just using base game I'm actually quite proud that I've actually been able to like create good houses and see what I've, I can get from them but I think I just need to keep with what I'm doing and see what I can do because I know there's so many items in base game that I haven't used yet and I think yeah I'm really surprised of actually how many good builds you can actually create so yeah I think it's good so far but you know over the holiday season you do kind of want to treat yourself and be like oh should I buy a new pack <laughs> but yeah I did it in the end and yeah I stopped with the base game ones but I think the front garden actually turns out really nice, just really simple and I did carry on with the stone debug object uh, just to go around the pathway there and then also I did the tall mob just to lower some rocks into the ground because they just don't go in the right place so yeah I would recommend this mod like if anyone doesn't have it I think I've mentioned it in every single video so far but you know it really does change the game and I think like everyone should have it even if you're like not very good at mods like neither am I to be honest I never used mods before I just saw this and I can't remember what channel or someone recommended it to me but I just heard it and I thought oh my god I've got to download this because when I used to build before YouTube it would always get so annoying when you just couldn't like lower rocks into the ground or if it was like glitching out and you just wanted to place in the right place so yeah I thought it was perfect and then I did the room layout off camera like always because I'm just so indecisive but I think the layout of the house is actually really nice and I actually did like kind of wanted a platform in this house but it just didn't look right so I took it out and it did like raise the door and then had to change the whole front of the house I was like oh no just forget that so I just kept it to all one one level and then I wanted to have like a walkway that you just wouldn't walk straight into the living room so I kind of put this wall up and then I put them pillars just to have some privacy like so you couldn't just look straight into the living room and then I was trying to like work out where I'd put the tv and how I could kind of hide it with like shelves I think I do eventually put a wall in yeah I put a wall in because I just didn't really like how it was looking from the other side of the from the hallway there and then in the hallway, I just make it quite kind of cosy with just all the things. I do like squishing that table, but I do push it into the wall a little bit just so it, like you actually walk past it and stuff. It gives it more, more space. And I actually really like what I did with the mirrors there. So I just put them close together just because I don't know, in hallways, I've seen like those people have mirrors and I don't know why, but the base game doesn't have that many good mirrors. So I just put like them, I think they're quite cheap ones actually just next to each other just so it looked like they were all connected. And then I sized up them curtains and it actually looks so good in that like area there. I was actually really surprised about that, but no, it looks really nice. And then I just trying to fit in like a couch. I think there's only a two seater couch and then maybe a chair. But I did try the idea with the cushions like here and try to small them down. But then the Sims can't sit in them. They can't sit down in this chair when they're there. So I think it only works with a three seater chair, not a two seater because my sim would just not sit down when the cushions were there and I tried to move them around and play around and she just wouldn't so I'm guessing that it's only a three-seater chair that actually works on a two-seater doesn't work and I actually didn't check with the single chair I need to check with the single chair because I'm not sure if that worked or not so I will check that next time <laughs> but I did try it and I didn't really like it anyway the cushions in there but I think in the future I will check because yeah cushions make such a big difference and that's why we need cushions in the base game like we just need them like they just have to put them in and then the side at the back there uh, behind the couch I just make it like a, a junk area where there's just loads of things and I love them picture frames I love them pictures like they're just oh they're probably one of the best items in base game like I just love them so much and then my favorite plants I always use them plants they're like my favorite I just love that plant so much and then I use like some bookshelves and like the camera and then I had to enable the cheat where you can like you can access like the career objects so I did that and then I just allowed to have some more objects because I think you need to do that when you're trying to fill up a house like because in base game there's not many objects and then I did use the debug 
headphones to go with the stereo as well i thought which is really cool and i actually looked ages in the debug menu to try and find out i cut that out because i literally couldn't find them. i saw them once and then i could never find them again and i think that's what always happens with debug like you will look and you'll find something and then you can't find it again because it's just you're just scrolling forever and it, yeah it took me so long i'm not sure if there's a cheat way you can actually customize it or like separate things because that would be really handy or oh, even if they move the debug into the main menu like I don't know why they haven't done that yet because you'd think they would just do it because it just makes more sense oh yeah and I left all of the debug because of what happened with the headphones and I couldn't find them for so long I left all of the other debug items that I wanted and I thought that I'd probably use just on the floor there so <laughs> that's why they're there because I just didn't want to go back into debug and scroll through because I thought it was just easier if I just laid them all on the floor which I wanted so that's what I did and then I didn't actually know what to put with this corner. Like, I struggled with this corner so much. I just put in, like, the postcards and stuff like that. And then even, like, letters and tried to make it a bit more personal and a bit different. And then with the kitchen, I struggled as well because I didn't know what layout I wanted to go through. Especially where to put the sink. I had no idea where to put this sink. I struggled so much. I did actually find out a good place in the end. And I do think it's actually a really nice kitchen. I love the wallpaper so much. I think it's just so nice and there is actually a brown panel and that just doesn't work with the rest of the house but luckily i could hide it with the counters with the kitchen counters which is perfect and then i do use put the sink there which i think it's not a bad place to put it like but that's the only place i could really fit but i did want a table in there i just want it to be like really cozy and just really homely and then just have like loads of different items that you'd have in a normal kitchen just to make it a bit more cluttered because I think that's what you're meant to do well I feel like in the sims it always looks better when you just add clutter to it well for me it does because I'm not very good at keeping it quite simple when I think adding loads of clutter just helps so much and yeah it just it just makes it a bit more realistic when you're playing the game as well like they you would have things on the kitchen counters like it just happens in every day in everyone's kitchen what I do with the room further down there is I make it into an office and it is so nice. I'm so proud of myself with what I did in the office because it just looks amazing. And yeah, it just really works with the flow of the room. And then with the office, I actually do like a... I, I downsize these bedside tables and then I kind of create like a seating area, but you like it's not functional but it looks so cool like, I love it so much I didn't know what kind of what color scheme to go for so you do see me like changing like different colors and stuff like that but I just try to fit it in and kind of make it look like they're actually like meant to go in there I did struggle at first and I had to do this off camera because I just didn't know what I wanted it to look like and I tried many different things like with the desk like in the middle and that just didn't go and yeah, so I just tried to make it all cohesive and just, like, it was meant to go there. I really wanted this office to just be knockout so that you'd have everything and everything that you need. And then these blinds, I just downsized them. And then I even downsized that shelf and then stuck it into the bedside tables too, which I thought was so nice. And I thought it just looked like it was properly built in and something custom to this house. I do put some candles on top, but I don't think it is realistic at all functional because, like, would you keep candles there? Probably not because that's where you're going to sit down. But because it's not functional, I just thought it looked nice. And I did try to actually put the candles near the window, but there was just no space for me to do that. And then I didn't want just anyone to kind of see the office area. I wanted it to be private a little bit, so I did put that barrier up there just so that it could give a bit more privacy, like when you're studying, and then also when you have guests, it can just lead onto the bathroom. I did think as well, it looked like a long room, it kind of cuts off and it gives more dimension, which I thought was nice. And then here I was just lowering down this rock with the tour mod, just because it was peeping through, so I just had to adjust that, because you don't want to see that in the bathroom. And then here, I for the bathroom, I just kept it really simple really, because it is quite small. And yeah, what can you do with the bathroom really? You just need all need the essentials and, and that's it. But I did put like a, to a toiletry basket in. And then because I have so many toiletries, so many bottles of different stuff. And because this was designed for a woman, I just thought, yeah, she would have so many toiletries as well, just like me. So I just did that and then kept it really simple. And 
just really nice and I literally forgot about the floor until last minute so I had to add that in and then I just downsized the blinds there as well because I just feel like your base game you just have to downsize the blinds so you get more useful because I don't know I feel like the size that they are already is just so not helpful and then for the bedroom I love this bedroom so much it's so me and my style and it kind of reminds me of my uni accommodation bedroom I lived in an apartment with my friend and I had like the master bedroom which it had these double doors looking outside and me and my friend always like reminisce about our time in this apartment because we just miss it so much but yeah it's like a really nice room really neutral and I do add like some showers at the bottom because I thought I don't know why but I thought it just looked a bit weird having the carpet leading to the door and I thought just having that bit of a platform next to the window just looked really nice and I could add in them candles there the washing basket and then if you have laundry day as a stuff pack or was it a game pack I'm not really sure but then you could at least put that there instead because obviously that's just the base game ones and then what I thought was a really cool idea I actually downsized one of the bookshelves and then squished it in there because the tv was just hovering and I didn't it just looked a bit weird and I was like what can I put there and then the normal shelves just go on like one side of the wall they don't merge in so I had to use the tormod to basically move this bookshelf into the wall so if you want to do that with this like if you've had problems like this before you want to get it somewhere the tormod will help and it can just slide it in just in place for you but no this room's like really nice really neutral and I just loved how it's like kind of looking over the garden and then over the sea as well and then here like I always do what I have been doing in the past of my builds is making my own little dressing table and then I just had to move down the mirror with the tall mod again and then I just put things in that I thought she would have like make it kind of like nice and kind of girly and I thought having the lights on the side of the bed as well was really nice a feature and I've actually never used them lights before they kind of remind me of the lights that you get with snowy escape I haven't got the pack but I've seen the pack and it, they the lights do remind me of like that Japanese style but yeah, and then again, I kind of like placed earlier all the default objects that I wanted to place on the table. So I am I just had to put them in the right place and I rearrange them because I didn't, wasn't really sure how I wanted the dressing table to look. But I kind of wish these items were functional. But then, then again, would Sims doing makeup be interesting? I don't know, I think it would be. I watched loads of YouTube videos about makeup, so maybe so. But yeah, I just thought it was really nice and it just went with the room. But I wanted to keep this room kind of neutral, girly, and just nice, like, and you'd have all the things that you just would have, like, even with the music speaker, and then I didn't want to clutter the trust drawers too much, I just didn't, I just didn't want to, I thought, because I've packed the dressing table so much, I didn't want to pack the trust drawers as well, so I just kept the trust drawers quite basic, and then I'm just adding like things here and there just to make it a bit more stuffed and full. Because I feel like, I don't know, but I have so much technology. Like I have a tablet, I have a laptop and I have all of this that I just thought I might as well put it in this house as well. Like Sims are going to have so much technology like we do. And I thought it was a nice idea that I actually find the controller for the TV and put that there. I was just so pleased with myself when I found that <laughs> and put it there. And I just put a little rug underneath. And oh yeah, I forgot to tell you that I really liked what I did with them picture frames in the corner in front of the shoe rack. I sized them down and I thought maybe they were her favourite TV shows. And then for the outside, I just extended the patio area and then used that fence all the way around and then used loads of bushes just to cover, the, cover it up. Just because I didn't like how it looked and then I thought a gate would be nice at the back as well. But you do see me like adding loads of flowers and I was so indecisive about what table to use. Like I had no idea. Like I know I wanted a barbecue out of here, but I just didn't there was just no table in the base game that I liked. But you know, I had to deal with what I got. And yeah, but I did the same thing for the flower beds, like out of the front, like I drew out the the train paint first of where I want the flower beds to go, and then I just added the flowers over the top, which I thought was nice. And then I did use that bird bath. But yeah, I put that there and then some few flower pots just here and there. And then just some adding some details for the house. I really didn't like how the roofing was like kind of going into the wall. It didn't carry on all the way through. So I just put them vines going on the wall so that it kind of looks separate. 
And then here I'm just adding some lighting because it just makes so much difference. And then just adding like details here and there just to finish the home off. But I'm really happy of how this small home came out. This is my first time doing like a tiny home. I don't even know if this class is a tiny home because it's pretty big. But I'm really happy how it came out. And I even loved how I put the gnomes as well within the flowers. And now I'm just finishing off the garden, putting some terrain paint, because you know I love the stepping stones. But yeah, that's the end of my build, and I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you for watching this video. I would like to wish you all the best for 2021. And please subscribe and like, and I'll see you in the next one.